Well, hello everybody. This is um, now part five, I suppose, of the Rotel RP1000 uh, restoration project. And I've got to the stage now where everything's coming together very nicely. And I'm going to do a, a bit of a, I suppose you call it an office bench test, really. I've got um, the deck uh, rigged up to the um, Techniques uh, SAG. Uh, X 200L amplifier which is also a radio amp and um, on top of that you'll see my best friend at the moment which is the um, Garrard SP25 Mark II which I've been using for the last few months with its Stanton 500L uh, pickup on there. So now for the test I'm not going to use the um, cartridge which is actually comes with this particular uh, record deck purely because I don't know what the history is on that stylus and I really wouldn't want to test out any of my records using that um, and uh, I have actually I have to I have to admit I have tried it with an old LP one that's quite worn and it does it actually sounds quite bad so I think actually even with that I think it's actually probably needing a change and um, as I said in my last video or the one before last I'm trying to source. I mean, the output from the cartridge is quite good. The one I've got on here, which as you will see, is an Hitachi, which is from my original 1976 um, Hitachi, which um, I bought new. This has actually got a uh, Sanyo cartridge on it, a general purpose cartridge, quite good. Its output's quite good, not as good as the um, as the uh, Stanton, of course, but it will be all right for the test. And I'm actually going to use a record, a 10-inch LP, uh, and from the and I'm going to use a selection from the White Horse Inn, um, which um, I'm actually quite fond of. So I'm going to use that as a test, and we're going to pl play it through the Techniques uh, equaliser, which is actually standing like a tower because I, if I go any higher, I should be at the ceiling of the office here. So I've actually got it rigged up to that. So let's see what this is like. We're going to start off. There we are. There's a slight ticking from that engine still, from that motor still, but I'm going to have to, I think that will diminish and probably it's always been like that. So then you touch here, just a very light touch, which will lower the... There we go. Oops, oops a daisy. I think I'll quite make you there. Skew that. adjust the weight slightly because this is a very light cartridge. There we go. If you want to reject, you just touch this very slightly, very touch sensitive. It's very sensitive, it just pushes the prowl in the way of the cam and then it stops like that. So 
I think that's actually quite quite good actually and I'm quite pleased with that. There's a little bit more work to be done but I just thought I'd give you a quick update on part 5 of the Rotel RP1000. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.